Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We are getting these corral panels to load up that big red guy over there into that truck with that trailer. Right now we got all of them here, just so uh, Terrence doesn't get stressed out. He's pretty chill. I think if we lead him with sweet feed, it should be fine. Ginger, this is Ginger, our milk cow. I don't know, she just came up to me. Hello? Aw. Yeah, we've been milking her. We did not milk her today. We just let the calf do it because we needed to set this up and they got in here. Um, yeah. Gracie's a little scared. She does not like the calves. She, you could say she's our god, our guard dog, but like honestly, she's not. No, she is, but like she's not friendly with the cows. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, Nathan. So what are you doing right here? Great question. Right now I'm using some of these old hay strings and twine, and we're trying to tie these crowd panels to the chain link fence poles, which are cemented in the ground. Hopefully this stabilizes them better, because without trying these, the cows can shake these up pretty good. So if we can stabilize them a little bit more, we can uh, hope that everything will be more secure and load in the terrains. How do you feel about what's going on? I don't like it. It's my yard, and I feel like it's being taken over. I don't really know. I don't understand this. I just see these cows that I'm scared of. I know that's really hard to say because like, yeah. But like, yeah, I don't like how it's going on. And they're do doing something with the truck over there, so like, I don't know. We are backing up the... Gracie got out. Gracie. Gracie! Okay, so we're trying to get Terrence in. We are bringing some sweet feed. Yes. He is very interested. Let's see if this works. He is very confused. I do not know. But as long as he sees Nathan up there and sees that like he's fine, I have a feeling that he might go up there. I'm not totally sure. He is a little confused. I can definitely tell. But as long as he tasted, I think he will come. We're still trying to lead him with feed. Ginger, our other cow, is literally, isn't even scared of that trailer. So right now we're just trying to lead Terrence. He's coming, but I'm not totally sure if he'll come inside, yeah. Terrence. I'm trying to lead them with feed. Ginger, you're not supposed to be here. All right, here we are inside the small corral we've set up. We have Dad ready at the chain link fence gate, hoping that we can get three, maybe four feet from Terrence to go inside the trailer. We got Clarence inside enjoying his buffet. Caleb's uh, a great chef taking care of them, making sure they have access to feed and hay. Terrence just seems to be a little bit more hesitant, probably about an hour or so. Just trying to do it the calm way and get Terrence to go in at, at his choice because as a 1300 pound animal, he can pretty much do what he wants. Thankfully he's relaxed enough to where he's eating while Clarence is just hanging out inside and eating some tea. So, trying to create a welcoming and hospitable environment for him, but he's, uh, he's paying attention to the details, reading the signs, not quite sure what's going on. All right, we got two in. All right, we need one more. We're asking for one more. 
We need one more foot in, and we can make an effort. But if he sees us behind, he's just gonna come out. So, Nate needs both of his hands to try to make an effort to push him in. Ginger over here, not knowing what's going on. Okay, come on, Terrence. Oh, he's leaning forward more. Aw, oh, dang it. Terrence is decently aware of where we are right now. He keeps turning his head and they have great vision where they can see the majority around them. Uh, Terrence is so big, I think his line of vision is, isn't as big as the general bovine. Gracie escaped. Finally got her back. Okay, so yeah. basically what happened, the tarp was flailing around over there, our barrier. He just got anxious. He didn't like the tarp over there because it was like going all on top of him. He decided to just run in here. I, of course, after filming for at least an hour, miss it. I was too busy watching it because I was tired of filming. And our little bud is right here. Terrence, this is a goodbye to you. I know this is really sad. You're the best year we've ever had. Uh, yeah, that rhymes, okay? And I know you're so confused. So this is a goodbye from all of our friends and family who knew Terrence. Hey, too. We're all saying goodbye. You're goodbye, all, Terrence. All... Hey, cows, this is an official goodbye. Terrence, I know Clarence, your beloved brother slash friends, not a real brother, I don't think so. And you who've always been a friend, and you who's always looked up to him, and you two who, I guess, n got bullied, not totally, you just didn't get that much grain when he was there. This is just your final goodbye. I know it's gonna be sad for all of us. Isn't that right, Ginger? It's all right. Got my food. He's leaving, there's Terrence. We're gonna miss you, buddy. This is goodbye to Terrence. Terrence. Terrence, we'll see you. That's Terrence right there. Hi, Terrence. 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 Bye, Terrence. 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 Bye. Although Terrence is gone, he will always be remembered in our hearts and in our stomachs.